Why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? We're going to answer that question. This is a condensed answer. To dive more deeply, we invite you to view the article on our website, gotquestions.org. We live in a world of pain and suffering. There is no one who is not affected by the harsh realities of life. And the question, why do bad things happen to good people, is one of the most difficult questions in all of theology. God is sovereign, so all that happens must have at least been allowed by Him, if not directly caused by Him. At the outset, we must acknowledge that human beings who are not eternal, infinite, or omniscient cannot expect to fully understand God's purposes and ways. The book of Job deals with the issue of why God allows bad things to happen to good people. Job was a righteous man, yet he suffered in ways that are almost beyond belief. God allowed Satan to do everything he wanted to Job, except kill him, and Satan did his worst. What was Job's reaction? Though he slay me, yet I will hope in him. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Job did not understand why God had allowed the things he did, but he knew God was good and therefore continued to trust in him. Ultimately, that should be our reaction as well. As hard as it is to acknowledge, we must remember that there are no good people. All of us are tainted and infected with sin. As Jesus said, no one is good except God alone. We live in a fallen world and we experience the effects of the fall. One of those effects is injustice and seemingly senseless suffering. When wondering why God would allow bad things to happen to good people, it's also good to consider these four things about the bad things that happen. Number one, bad things happen to good people in this world, but this world is not the end. Christians have an eternal perspective. We will have a reward someday, and it will be glorious. Number two, bad things happen to good people, but God uses those bad things for an ultimate, lasting good. When Joseph, innocent of wrongdoing, finally came through his horrific sufferings, he was able to see God's good plan in it all. Number three, bad things happen to good people, but those bad things equip believers for deeper ministry. Those with battle scars can better help those going through the battles. And number four, bad things happen to good people and the worst things happened to the best person. Jesus was the only truly righteous one, yet he suffered more than we can imagine. Jesus is no stranger to our pain. God allows things to happen for a reason. Whether or not we understand his reasons, we must remember that God is good, just, loving, and merciful. Often, bad things happen to us that we simply cannot understand. Instead of doubting God's goodness, we should trust Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. We walk by faith, not by sight. That answers the question, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Research this question further on our website, gotquestions.org. Give a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.